Soldier Boy, tell him, turn me up. Hello, everybody, it's uh, MLG Forgets Me here, and uh, I'm here to show you guys a quick tutorial. Um, I probably. Uh, I keep trying this over and over again and it will not download to YouTube for some reason. So um, hopefully this works. Um, what we're doing here is we're going to make a uh, server and I'm just going to name it YouTube for just YouTube's sake being amazing. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to use the HMOD server host. As you guys can see, I'm here with Kingonostics.tk's uh, forum. Uh, a member, advanced member, and uh, I made a quick thing on how to do it. And I have some complaints, such as Saz Afino, Saz Afino. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. And it says when I get, give get this arrow, user not premium. I will show you guys how to stop that if you were getting that. And I'm not taking credit for this. This is made by Meeglin, Meeglin. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, that that's who it's by, and I did not make this. So. Basically, yeah. Um, so what you guys need to do? I already have it already pre-compiled for you guys, um, and it's also just a one-click thing. It's not like several different clicks. You just click it once, and it gives you a direct download, or it should give you a direct download. See, yeah. Now it's giving me the download. Yeah. But what we need to do is just hit the download file, and it should download. Which, if if my computer, All right there we go. Delete that. Alright, there we go. That's all we really need. Uh, WinRAR helps. I think we need WinRAR to open it. I'm pretty sure you guys have it. But uh, open it. <coughs> Let it load. Open, open it again. Uh, and then basically you get all this. What you can do is you either can click, drag it over into YouTube. But I'm going to hit Extract 2 and I'm going to put it in YouTube. Uh, hit OK and you should be good you will see that it comes with files, puts files in it, if you have another computer you might put them in might not show that up but uh, that's basically how I know it's in there you can bring that down um, and basically what you can do just double click on that you'll have everything in there what you do right away is hit server no GY or C server no GY uh, x64 depending on which bit version you're running on uh, and it will come up, let, let it do its run uh, this will take a while the first time. Um, the new beta 1.3, after the first time you run it, it will run a, a whole crap load faster. It, it actually takes me, I think, one load for it. To, like, it, it will show one spawn area. It, it won't even come up all this. But uh, once it's done, this might take a while. I'm probably going to just not really skip it because if I do, it's kind of pointless. Do, 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 do. And as that is uh, running through, what you guys can do is uh, rep me. Just just hit this button down in this corner right here. This button. Well, there should be a button. See how it has a plus sign? There'll be a plus sign right here. Hit that button. Sign up for KNOSTIC.TK and hit that button because I will appreciate that a lot. Trust me. Um, as you guys can see, you will know it's done because it says loaded zero plugins. What you need to do, type stop, do not hit the X, it says saving chunks, and it would say uh, press any key to continue. Hit any key to continue, open back up the file. You'll notice there is a whole bunch of folders now. What you need to do, hit the server uh, properties file, as you can see right here it says properties file. Uh, and it comes with this. Make this full screen, I'll make it full screen for you guys. Uh, no, actually, make it small screen. Drag it, drag it. All right, there we go. That way you guys can see it. All right, as you guys can see, there's not, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. You guys thinking it's gibberish? Um, what you need to do right here, where it says online mode, you need to change that to false. Uh, you can customize the message of the day. Everybody's probably gonna be like, "Hello, my." Crafters, yeah, that works. Uh, basically, don't mess with anything but that and the sir. I mean, you can customize it whatever you want. Uh, just be careful with some things. If you don't really know what it is, uh, then just uh, ask me. I'll tell you exactly what it does. Uh, spawn protection size uh, 16. I normally go with two. If you feel like your server is gonna get grieved, keep it at 16. I'll keep it mine at two because that's what mine normally is at. Um, 
basically what you can now do is right here uh, it says server IP server IP uh, what you, where you can get that is you go to your start menu you type in run cmd and then you type in IP config now I'm not gonna go because it gives you all my information but uh, once you type that in uh, it will give you a thing here I'm just gonna type in what, what it will say it would be like IP V4 uh, address, uh, I spelled address wrong, uh, dot 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 dot, and then it'll give you an IP 129 or 192.168 uh, point uh, whatever one or whatever yours gives you. Uh, it will start off as that, or it might start off as that, doesn't really matter as long as it says 129. 168. That is basically what you need. <coughs> now you'll put your server, uh, your IP in there. I really don't care for my IP, but I just didn't want to give you all my sub masking thing, whatever it is. But uh, mine's 129.168.1.10. Yeah, 110. Uh, so keep everything the same. Basically, max players. If you want, uh, just for your friends, just put it for 10. Uh, I don't really know if it reduces the lag or not. But it might, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, change your PvP if you don't want people to be able to kill yourself to false. Uh, basically, whitelist false. Uh, that's basically about it in this folder, what you need to do. Um, uh, basically, yeah, that's it in there. What you need to do is just go file, save. Then you need to exit that out and go into your users folder. Once you're in your users folder, you can go down here, type in your username. Uh, well, you four got me. Um, call caps. Got me. All right, and then you do a colon. And then what you do is you either type admins or in my server I can go owner, and I'll show you how I do that later. Um, owner and uh, basically that's it so you go file save you can put you put admin unless you really want to do this extra step that I'm about to show you uh, I'm gonna save it I don't know I'll save it alright what you need to do after that close this out and go into your for me if you want to follow what I did go into your groups folder go to where it says admins hit in front of it hit enter that way there's a space there now and now type in owner exactly the way make sure it's precise like caption or capitals and all that and do a colon and then do a, whatever color you want I'll show you guys the color list in a little bit uh, I'm gonna pick four because that's a deep red uh, and what else you can do is you could do this for any group you could type a bracket make sure it's a simple bracket and then put in I'm gonna put owner all in caps and then I'm going to uh, out it in back brackets and then colon and then a star star means you can do whatever you want uh, and then what you would do is admins because that's the lower group underneath you and then which makes you be able to do everything the admins can do which doesn't really matter because you have the star uh, and then you do a, another colon and then you do a two that's basically my owner mod thing now all right, you can do this for anything. You do the little brackets, so you can put add in admin, and then you can put brackets out. Uh, that's basically what you can do. Uh, save uh, so for this little thing where it says four through uh, C B A F whatever. Yeah, for that, what you can do is you can go to either just pause the video, right? I'll pull up a new tab pause the video right now and it shows you all the codes that you will need do not add the add symbol if you add the add symbol it won't obviously work so uh... yeah um, yeah that's basically how you do it uh... there are all the codes all the whatever you really need i don't think there is any more other than those uh, if, if there is i'll check it out later but um, that's basically it for that. Uh, after that, you can save it. And you should be good. Now, the only thing you really got to make sure you do is port forward. 
Port forwarding is the most important thing, and you also got to make sure you're on the most latest version. Uh, because if you do not port forward, uh, then you'll obviously not be able to get friends on your uh, on your uh, Minecraft server. To do this, make sure if, if you really want to check your port forwarding, uh, what you would want to do is get a trustworthy friend and be like, "Hey, join in at this time." Tell him to join in, and if he if he's if he can join, it's all good. It's perfect but if you can't join then you're gonna have to go back go through your steps and I'm going to show you right now how to port forward a Linksys router I'm pretty sure this works on any Linksys router but you'll, what you'll need to do is you will need to go to your router thing so mine's for a Linksys is a 192.168.1.1 that is the basic setup for a uh, router uh, normally the username and password is uh, your uh, admin and the password is admin but for mine it is not it's different but what you'll need to do here is type in minecraft if you uh, or whatever name uh, your start thing is 25565 your end thing is 25565 and your protocol is both and then it will show uh, IP your IP address and then it will show and then you have to type in your last three digits of your IP. Make sure you enable it and save settings. Once you do that, you'll be good, and hopefully friends can join uh, on a Linksys router. This is just for a Linksys, so if you have something else, you're gonna have to find out what is your uh, basic thing for it. Um, basically, that's how you guys uh, make a server. Um, if you can, guys can, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, rep me on KML64. Thanks.